Welcome back to another Guava Reacts video on the Guava Plus channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to the Lil Mabu story and the dark side of Lil Mabu because I literally know, don't know where this guy came from. Like, at all, I have no knowledge of him besides him being a going to a private school at NYC, which is like the top private school or something. That, that's literally all I know. <laughs> all I know is this guy is pursuing his educational prowess. Anyways, uh, the first video we're watching is from this Lil Mabu story. Uh, which is from Blackie Speaks, uh, came out like six days ago. We'll drop a like anyways. Some boys deserve their failure. Billy Allen. I'm an island boy. Anyways, uh, let's get into the first video. That's too good. No, Lil Mabu. Have you heard the name or seen the face? If you guys aren't familiar with the name, Lil Mabu is an 18-year-old rapper out of New York who's making a lot of noise right now. I initially found out about Lil Mabu through this record from May 2021. It's called Demon Time, and it was actually his first official music video. It came out in 2021 and somehow hit my recommended section in its first week of being out. So I've been familiar with him ever since. I've watched his come up. I've seen this guy literally go from 20k on Instagram to almost a million at this point. His growth, especially after that wow. mathematical disrespect song, has been kind of insane. It ended up actually charting on Billboard, which is crazy for someone who's as Bro. new as Mabu. I mean, this what? is the first time a lot of you are hearing about him, and he is a That's new face wild. in the industry after all. He doesn't have a full-length project out. All he did drop a tape last summer which consisted of seven records as for this mathematical disrespect song you know what i actually like this shit man i caught myself going back to it after i saw the live performance visuals mabu ain't really the best rapper let alone best drill rapper out there but he does have a lot of character he's very entertaining doesn't take himself too seriously which i like and also i, I just fuck with, with the song i think it's good i'm still not completely sold on Lil mabu as a rapper but i think on a technical level he actually is a decent rapper i've most definitely heard worse that aside knowing me i'm sure you realize that there's a reason why I'm talking about Lil Mabu. Around two weeks ago, 18 year old Lil Mabu ended up going viral. Why exactly did he go viral, you may ask? Well, there was this article that went viral on Twitter, and here's the headline. New York drill rapper Lil Mabu is a upper crust white Angelo Saxon Protestant who attends a $60,000 a year Manhattan private school and whose parents have property portfolio worth $12 million. So a young Caucasian male who raps about that street life as a rapper I wonder what the internet thinks about this. That sounds just like the kind of headline Twitter would have a field day with, right? And that actually happened. This article, which we will go through, went viral on Twitter and it goes without saying it went viral for the wrong reasons. So the article, which is actually from earlier this year, in a nutshell uncovers a couple things about Lil Mabu's upbringing. He apparently comes from a wealthy background, so the boy got the bag before he got that rap bag, which in hip hop, as a lot of y'all know, is very frowned upon, especially if you happen to be a young Caucasian male like Lil Mabu, who talks about killing people. He's a culture vulture, he's an industry plan, those are the kind of conversations being had about this. Yeah, that's like the article stated though, Mabu allegedly comes from a wealthy rich, background, background, apparently goes to a private school on the Upper East Side of New York. In other words, his family got shmoney, right? He's a popular rapper in the controversial drill genre with over 2 million TikTok followers, the article says. But Lil Mabu has a surprising backstory as a senior at one of New York's oldest upscale private high schools. Lil Mabu, better known in class as Matthew Peter DeLuca, 17, has broken into the scene with support and recognition from established names like Tory Lanez, Lil Mosey, PNB Rock, and Rich the Kid. The lyrics to one of his songs, No Snitching, reads, I could never snitch, gang gang gang, that's on my kids, I put a chop on a blade, Put a blade on a switch. Fuck a nigga, bitch. I'm just kidding. He ain't say that last part. However, as a freshman at the 60,000 a year collegiate school on the Upper West Side, he was a student board member of Evangelizing Kids Walk for MSK Kids. De Luca currently lives on the Upper East Side of Manhattan in a five bed, five bath, 3,327 square foot condominium. When he's not showing that his gotta folks, start we can house just in too the Hamptons. At it. I gotta say, man, whoever put together this article gotta hate my boo. I don't know what's so yeah. bad about your fam having a house in the Hamptons. I get it. This is somewhat of an expose, so that's why they're bringing all this energy. This article is way too biased for my taste, though, but then again, it is by Daily Mail, and they're kind of known for this type of thing. Moving on. Together, the family's properties are worth around 12 million, according to the New York Post. Now, that sounds like a good life, don't it? Ain't this what all rappers dream about? coming from money so how come when someone ends up coming from money it's a bad thing on a real though that's not really why my boo is getting all this hate i look at the response he's getting right now and it could be boiled down to a couple things one of them being the fact that people aren't too excited about seeing another rapper with the 6 9 archetype getting a bunch of success now the 6 9 archetype consists of two main things and the first one is violent lyrical content 
that's pretty straightforward. The linchpin, i.e. the connecting dot, if you will, is that that lyrical content is being promoted by a non-black rapper. That's the second. And the third, you're using antics as a way to get attention. As it relates to Mabu, he falls under the category of all these three points. That being said, as for the third point, though, I as never for how he promotes the whole, himself, like, though, I'll say this about Mabu. Violent stuff promoted by non-black people. That just sounds off to me. I don't know. Um, isn't 6 9 like, the whole issue with 6 9 not really any of that? It's more of the, like, he exposed like fellow gang member because he was actually in a gang and he like exposed some of his fellow gang members is like the issue with him because as far as i know Lil Mavo hasn't done anything like that and he doesn't take himself seriously and it's like i don't know i just think bro is a marketing genius but uh i haven't seen any content from him that's like that should be overly controversial the only thing i've seen is like the whole thing with him already having money and then getting into his type of music which I I don't know why you'd find upon that really. If someone's successful, that's that's awesome. Like I feel like having that type of person in the community who's already successful and people, you know, bring themselves up to be successful is awesome to have as like a good influence to like try to get to that level. And he, as far as I know, he he like constantly um brings up the fact that he's in school and he finished it. And I think he finished like top of his class or whatever, which is awesome. Like finished top of your class from high school and graduating because. The rap community doesn't really promote graduating from school and like uh doing school and yeah like doing school and um rapping at the same time it's like you usually drop out or something um i'm sure there's a gazillion people who like finished their college and everything and did rap like that's awesome but i'm just saying i don't think he he promotes anything bad he just promotes like the positive sides of the rap community i think i don't know Tell me what you think. I, I might just be I might just be out of it and not in touch. <laughs> He's keeping it very lighthearted, which is playing towards his advantage. I wanna go over this one example, so let me break it down further. So the video you're seeing on the screen right now is a video of Lil Mabu getting caught lacking as he's walking home from class that, by the that's paparazzi how I discovered right after Lil Mabu. he went viral. Obviously the paparazzi were most likely hired by the boy yeah, as a way to create content around him, which is directly connected to his music and that's the whole point. He created a piece of content around the controversy and you guessed it, that creates a conversation which directly feeds into his music. So Mabu, he's a smart guy, he's playing along with it, he's going with the flow, he knows what the general consensus of him is, so he played a game with chess and he played into it a young white rapper who raps about gun violence gets seen walking out of the private school he's attending obviously this looks like it was orchestrated by him mabu took one of the most controversial aspects of his blow up and created content out of that he then promoted this video on all the big hip-hop pages which caused even more controversy and more hate and that in return got him more fans let's continue with this last part of the article before we keep on speaking mabu clearly leans into some of the subgenres nastier tropes the article says that's every drill rapper i don't even know why the fuck they're bringing that shut up see this is why i said this article is a little too biased for my taste glock came with a beam inside run up on him demon vibe let it fa 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 his videos some of which have millions of views on youtube have included fake shootouts at restaurants in williamsburg brooklyn with de luca implying being hit by gunfire himself so to sum up the story related to Lil Mabu, he's a white 18 year old drill rapper from New York who's blowing up. He raps about that street life, but apparently grew up in a wealthy household and I know uh, right called there drill is rap, the oxymoron. I love drill rap. Considering what he you talks about in the music, cool how too. likely is it that someone who comes from this type of upbringing is actually telling the truth in their records? Those are the type of questions people are bringing up as it relates to Mabu and his story. And you know what? These are some very valid questions. If you're going to take up space in any genre, there's going to be people asking questions. And that's of course rightfully so why do i say that well if we're going to talk about hip-hop specifically the amount of rappers we've seen come into this genre who really don't give a damn about the art form is very high i think that's definitely traumatized hip-hop in a lot of ways personally you know especially with how rampant just the fake shit in the industry now is i'm skeptical of any artist the industry is actively pushing that's usually a sign that there's someone or something that really wants this artist to win who is that why are they doing it why is this person getting pushed on such a big mainstream level who exactly wants this 
this person to win and why as it relates to mabu on a surface right all that people see is a young white artist who raps about the same topics as his black contemporaries a lot of those black contemporaries being drill rappers mabu is actually doing better than and a lot of them have actually seen the things they talk about does the same go for mabu regarding that i'll say this if you're a white artist in the genre of hip-hop already from the jump you're gonna get scrutinized no matter what that's what simply comes with the territory now that's the case for a couple reasons one of them being because of history historically speaking not just in hip-hop but in music period black music has time after time been stolen copied and appropriated yeah, by other cultures this is why we're so sensitive to outsiders coming in without people? giving back to the genre do you remember this record right For here sure. by j cole called fire squad history repeats itself and that's just how it goes same way that these rappers always buy each other's flows same thing that my nigga elvis did with rock and roll Justin Timberlake, Eminem, and then Macklemore. Uh, silly niggas argue over who gonna snatch the crown. Look around, my nigga. White people have snatched the sound. Where did J. Cole? You get the basic gist that of what I'm trying hard. to say. I need to listen to that song. Some general thoughts about Lil Mabu, true, what I think about him, and some other key takeaways from his story. Number one, and this is the most important thing I gotta say, which is this. You gotta be prepared for what comes with speaking on certain topics. And that's not only a message to Lil Mabu, that's a message to anyone who considers themselves a rapper. If I was sitting down with Mabu right now, I would tell him this. How long do you plan on staying in this drill rapper box? Because the longer you stay being one, the higher the likelihood you're gonna attract the very things you're talking about in your records. If you know me, this is something I really believe yeah. in. I think then, uh, as an artist, the words you say, the topics you hit on, and the energy you six, put nine, out and jumps. carry is not in only my, a reflection Miami, of the kind I of artist too. you want to become, but it also reflects the energy that you'll By eventually the way, the attract. God, please don't move to Miami. We don't need more people. We need to, like, catch up on infrastructure, clean the place up, fix things up, and then and we could take some more people. Also, so that uh, property prices go down, I can uh, I can get some real estate. That'd be pretty cool. Are you ready for what comes with that? That's something I'd ask Mabu or any young rapper who talks about violence. Also, I want Lil Mabu or any young rapper to remember that your records will eventually impact not only you, but the people you love as well in some capacity, for better or worse. I hope he has the mental foresight to see where this can potentially take him. I just want everybody who's listening to this to know this one thing, okay? Drill rap is a subgenre that promotes death which is the opposite of life it's about killing it's about shooting and it's about violence y'all heard me say this before but the tongue is indeed a powerful tool it can be used for good or bad that entirely depends on a person who that tongue belongs to so the power isn't really in the tongue itself it's in the person maybe he's not thinking that far but i wouldn't really judge him for that the guy's 18 he's popping young famous that's probably the last thing i'd be thinking about if i was him right but it should be because the amount of rappers we've seen he gone down this path only to realize that he couldn't handle the heat hit along on is too many i don't want them out of my rules but i don't want to see young families in the process of changing the entire car family which is not succeeding actually like the whole model not so much his music but more so him as a personality as i'm analyzing his blow up it ain't the music that's propelling him to the top it's the narrative surrounding the music and obviously i'm talking about the fact that he's a young white drill rapper out of new york and this is another huge aspect of his success a young white rapper is generally speaking gonna be a more marketable quote-unquote product and that's because most hip-hop listeners are white the entertainment industry is fueled by white people the majority of the kids listening to rap nowadays are white kids mabu looks like that majority which in return makes him relatable to that majority so he has that playing towards his advantage on top of the fact that he makes the same exact music as his black peers combine that with a little bit of virality a hit or two and uh you're good to go that aside i wish Lil mabu the best and um, i hope he stays on a good path he's getting a lot of attention right now i hope he makes the most out of it because you only get one of these moments mabu don't forget that anyway what do you guys think about Lil mabu have you maybe heard the name are you familiar with the face what do you think about him curious to hear what you have to say that being said have a blessed day i'm out peace Lil Mabu's, he's pretty cool. I this was a good video. I liked it. I've never heard of Blackie Speaks, but cool channel. Obviously, uh, check him out. <laughs> my my two subscribers on this channel. <laughs> but yeah, that was a really good video. Um, I don't, I don't know what I was expecting getting into the video, but I don't know. Uh, very transparent. Very not too biased of a person. Just a very Really, really, really good video. Um, I like Lil Mabu. I think he's super smart. His music's cool. I don't think it's like top 10, top 100 or anything like that. Um, I'm not 
I'm not dumb. I'm not meat writing. Uh, but it's it's super it's super fun and uh, light hearted and like it, it sh I don't know. I like the energy. It's fun. But uh, yeah, we have another one from Cuff Boys who I have not watched this channel forever. I wasn't even subscribed on, on this channel uh, on this account. Um, I'm assuming from the comments this, this video is more of like a hit piece. Obviously the title the dark side of little mabu but i don't remember cuff boys making videos like really hating on people but we're going to check out the video anyways uh the kid go from this my name is matthew deluca i go to the collegiate school i'm in ninth grade and my favorite thing about kids walk for msk kids is to getting together with friends and family to support such a wonderful cause to this i can never snitch that's on my kid i put a chopper on a blade, put a blade uh, that is kind of wild though but well, that's everyone Mabu, in high school whose huh? real name is matthew peter deluca was born on april 4th 2005 in manhattan new york he went from a normal prep school child to one of the biggest drill rappers in the world no matter what you think of his music is his story is biggest? nothing short of inspiring in the last year he has over 70 million views on music videos alone and he sits at 5 million monthly listeners on spotify that's he's currently a senior at a collegiate already. school the nearly 400 year old manhattan prep school that costs sixty thousand dollars a year i'm surprised like he hasn't been kicked out of this private school yeah to be honest you would think this kid would be a lawyer or a doctor but it seems like it's not going to happen with his career soaring to new heights with his release of mathematical disrespect mabu seems to have a good understanding of marketing and artists bro that would be wild though if he became a lawyer or something like that and he dropped and he dropped music videos like every month that'd be that'd be pretty cool and, and like songs and stuff, whatever. He knew a white kid rapping the way he does would get mainstream attention, even if it wasn't all good. No, he's lagging. Yo, Mabu! Yo! Yo! His aggressive tone and lyrics would make you think he's from the hood, but it wasn't always like that. His oldest song on his YouTube channel called Heartbreaking isn't drill rap whatsoever. It's generic emo rap that was popularized in 2017, but he was doing this in 2020 when it was becoming outdated. It wasn't until Mabu released a song called Demon Time, where you could hear the clear influence of New York shining through. And this is where Mabu actually started seeing success. And he leaned into the joke of him being white and rapping like this with a bunch of skits and YouTube shorts, putting them on his own channel. Unlike a lot of artists, no other artist put shorts up like he did. These types of videos remind oh, me of what Sick Nine show. did back in like 2018, where he would do skits that would just go viral on Instagram. What's truly remarkable about the situation Six is that Mabu is achieving this level of success while still in high school. Crazy. Even flexing his newest hit that he still has to be in school eight hours a day, but he does better numbers than everyone who isn't. I spend eight hours a day in school and I still put up more numbers than these fleas. It seems that Mabu is just a regular kid that went to prep school and grew up in a privileged family. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's just what it seems like. But as I was doing the research for this video, I started to discover some strange with things that, with though. his father. This video is sponsored by my f***ing self. Go to cuffboys.com and buy a hat right now. They ship out within 48 hours of buying them. Thank you. Here's the rest of the video. His father, Peter, is the owner of Greenwich Village Funeral Home. I found two interesting articles that are pretty dark. Mourner attacks funeral director during wake. So someone attacked Mabu's father during a funeral, basically. So this Gorgon family was having a funeral for someone. And during this funeral, allegedly, Mabu's dad went up to one of the family members and hinted at another person in the family dying soon and saying she's next in a way to this family during their funeral. <laughs> Mabu's dad told the cops that he approached him and just asked him about an unpaid bill about a previous funeral but the family said that's not what he said to them gorgon was escorting his mother who was the deceased woman's sister through the funeral home at the time the luca made it sound like she's next and that he wanted the business i thought this article is pretty funny because it shows that mabu's father has a set of nuts to say some wild shit like that to a family who is already grieving about someone who died but i discovered something even more disturbing and dark there's another article titled first her baby is killed and she's at death's door. Then her hubby stiffs her. From 2006, her one-year-old son was killed in her arms in a freak apartment collapse that left her clinically dead. Her right leg was nearly severed. She contracted hepatitis from the blood transfusions. One of her lungs is still held together by the staples. And now Jane DeLuca says she discovered that her husband she relied on and trusted through 10 years of hell betrayed her, conspiring with a pair of disgraced Brooklyn judges to cheat her out of millions of dollars. In a bombshell lawsuit filed in Manhattan Supreme Court, the pain-ravaged woman says her ex-husband 
husband, Peter DeLuca, Mabu's father, who operates Greenwich Village Funeral Home, worked with then judge and now convict Victor Barron under indictment suspended Judge Michael Garson and others to fix their divorce case, hiding Peter's assets and causing her millions of dollars. The couple was divorced in 98, but DeLuca's suit says she didn't learn she'd been cheated until 2003 when her ex's dad told her about the alleged collusion. Since all this happened in 1998, I don't think this is Mabu's mother. I think this is just his dad's previous wife before his mother. Jane married Peter in 1978, and their greatest dream was to start a family. After eight long years, they were successful. Peter Craig DeLuca was brought into this world in a complicated and horrifying delivery in which Jane nearly lost her life. Their bliss became devastation 13 months later when their Sullivan Street townhouse collapsed. Jane had been on the top floor with the newborn baby when the floor gave away, but was clutching him to her breast underneath the rubble. For approximately three hours until their bodies could be rescued, Jane laid crushing and bleeding, experiencing almost agonizing pain of her injuries, except the greatest and most unbearable, that her child had already died in her arms. Jane herself was declared dead on arrival at the hospital, but medics were able to resuscitate her. Both of her lungs were- Wait. Oh, this is Peter Crick. Oh, yeah, okay. I, 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 for some reason, thought it, it was Mabu's name. I was like, that, that timeline doesn't add up. I was so confused, but okay. Punctured, her ribs crushed, her spleen ruptured, her right leg connected to her body only by skin. She spent over 60 days in the hospital and had to undergo 13 surgeries and 103 blood transfusions. The heartbroken mom contracted hepatitis B and C from the blood transfusions as well as a rare blood disease that has dramatically increased the lifelong risk of contracting leukemia. She eventually received a $4 million settlement for her losses and injuries from the building collapse, but she was completely unaware that her husband was manipulating her finances and a scheme to divorce her and leave her in physical physical and emotional and financial ruin. He sued her for divorce in 1996. She said she was bullied into a settlement in 98 that left her with a house and $1 million, with her husband holding onto the rest of approximately $10 million estate. Yes, this article is disturbing. My condolences to the family, first of all, for losing a child. This is a very sticky situation. I just thought it was insane that I found this article in the first place. This is a dark side of Mabu's family that he lost basically a stepbrother, I think, if this isn't his mother. I don't think it's his mom because he was born in 2005 and all this happened in the 80s and 90s. So I just thought Isn't this was five, fucking baby? unreal that his dad That's went crazy. through this. Obviously, we don't know why Lost he would have respect. divorced her at Joking. the worst possible time of her being injured and all that. But just a very dark and disturbing story that I discovered about Mabu's family. There's rumors that Mabu's dad is a record label executive and that Mabu's an industry plant, which I can tell you right now, very confidently, this is completely false. His dad is not a record label executive. There's this bullshit Reddit post. And I know Reddit's not a trustworthy place to get your information, but this guy wrote all this saying, before I get into it, there's some people who don't know this kid is it's common that you see comments like how did this kid connected to the drill scene lil mabu is the son of jeffrey b vaughn who's the former chairman and ceo of capitol record and just gives a whole breakdown of this complete nonsense which is false <laughs> there's no concrete evidence that he has any ties to a record label but there was the suspicions because he got a lot of big artists to comment fuck with his shit early on which is a little suspicious but who knows if he paid them or not there's some people that claim his dad is jeffrey vaughn who's the president of capitol records which is laughable to me because i know Jeff Vaughn and I've met him and talked to him several times over the years because he's the guy that signed Lil Skies back in 2017 and I can 100% assure you his forever. son is not Lil Mabu. <laughs> All the family bullshit aside, though, his music has struck a chord with a growing number of passionate fans who can't get enough his catchy hooks, slick beats, and mesmerizing flow. Even if his lifestyle doesn't really match the lyrics, we all know that doesn't really matter anymore with the age of TikTok and the internet. Mabu's obviously not afraid to push the boundaries and experiment with new sounds, infusing his tracks with unexpected twists and turns that keep listeners on their toes. It's also somewhat of a meme that he grew up in an upper-class family and he didn't have to make it out the hood. As fans start to make fun of Mabu, he leans into the joke. He did this with being from a wealthy family, and trip to the hood that whole video is making fun of himself that videos much. from Take him i saw that clip before anything that was a little mob family and trip to the hood that whole video is making fun of himself pretty much taking a trip to the hood just to make it out he's making fun of himself and trolling despite his growing fame he chose to remain independent releasing all his music without any label manager or contracts which i respect independent artists a lot it takes a lot of balls to deny that upfront money with the age of the internet record labels are becoming more and more insignificant the advance they give to smaller artists are never worth it because they can control your music and tarnish your image and within the last 12 months, Mabu's career has gone to an entire new level. Getting big cosigns from other New York artists such as Didi Osama and Dusty Locaine gives Mabu's name more credibility. I think what Mabu figured out recently is that music videos can create moments. It's almost the same model as 6 9 again, where 6 9s music videos were bigger moments than when he dropped his own albums. And that's what Mabu's doing now, where he sees how a music video could captivate an audience and make it more viral than dropping a project, which is very, very hard to do. The song with Didi Osama, Throw, that music video was insane because of the 
beat switch and all of a sudden they're in a shootout on the street. Like little things like that add to why things go viral. I would put money that that was Mabu's idea to do that too. I would I would bet a lot of money Mabu thought of that and was like, I'm going to put that in a music video because that's going to go viral. Mabu's music is captivating fusion of cutting edge beats, mesmerizing melodies, and thought provoking lyrics that defy the norm and push boundaries. The only thing I would worry about at this point is if he could stay relevant for the next three to five years. With the type of music he's making now, it's hard to grow and make it interesting after a few years of doing it. There's only so much amount of drill music you can make that's interesting and keeps an audience around for a long time. He clearly has the marketing brains, but his music has to stay interesting and captivating and keep the audience there. And I've been comparing him to 6 9 this whole video, who struggled at captivating an audience for his projects. He only made big moments from beefs and music videos. But it wouldn't surprise me if Mabu puts out his project in the next few months and has a good buzz. Comment down below what you think about Mabu. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This hat's on coughvoice.com. Love you, boys. Peace out. Um, that digging up is wild. Uh, oh, it was not a hit piece. I was like, there's no way Cuff Boys really. Did. I actually don't know if Cuff Boys like record stuff like that. I used to watch him before he blew up, like 2018. Bro, we're in 2023. I st I started watch. I I first watched him like five six years ago. Um. Yeah, he's a marketing genius, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't know like the. That whole past stuff, I don't think is that's a whole separate thing. I don't, that has nothing to do with him. He didn't. He wasn't really involved in that. But uh, but man is a marketing genius. Um, his music's pretty cool. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see if he can maintain that for for years. Cause that is a big thing nowadays. All these artists you listen to now, in like three five years, you don't hear of them ever again. Or like, you hear their name, but you don't. You'll say you'll see any big success anymore. It's wild. Six nines music is uh, <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Six nines, six nines music is like gone like everywhere. Um, anyways, I I like Lil Mabu's music. It's pretty cool. I love his music videos. They're fun. Um, my favorite songs. Well, he only has a few songs up, but I do like Rich Scholar. I really like Doctor. Uh, I just like I like his last three songs that he's released music videos for. I haven't heard his old old songs yet, so we'll check that out. And uh, I wanna I wanna hear what this is since it's typical emo, and I haven't heard Demon Time either. Uh, but Trip to the Hood is so good. Mathematical disrespect, I really like Rich Scholar. Rich Scholar and Trip, Trip to the Hood goes the hardest. It's my favorite song right now. Um, from him. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about Lil Mabu if you've heard his music before. Um, check him out. Let me know what you think. Might like him, might dislike him. Either or is okay. Same with my own videos, like or dislike. Uh, whether you liked or enjoyed the video, uh, subscribe to notifications. You guys never miss a video. Everything is in the description below. That's all my social media, uh, all my podcasts, all company stuff. I don't know. Everything is on my website, and then my description is also down there in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.